Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Nielsen, and I'm a developer relations engineer working on Moonbeam. Moonbeam is an Ethereum-compatible smart contract platform on Polkadot, and its sister network is Moonriver. Moonbeam's goal is to provide the most seamless developer experience for Ethereum devs and make it as easy as possible for you to deploy your multi-chain applications and gain access to the rapidly growing Polkadot ecosystem. Gavin Wood frequently describes Polkadot as a heterogeneous multi-chain, and you can also think of Polkadot as a universe of connected, specialized blockchains. This interoperability is enabled in part by XCM, which stands for Cross Consensus Messaging. XCM is a message passing protocol that allows you to transfer value seamlessly between different blockchains. XCM recently debuted on Moon River with the introduction of the XC20, which is a substrate native asset that conforms to ERC20 standards. XCKSM, or KSM migrated from the Kusama relay chain, was the first XC20 to launch on Moon River. Being able to have a substrate native asset look and feel like an ERC20 is a major breakthrough because architecturally, these are two very different assets. There's an enormous amount of value in these substrate assets that finally have a home where they can now be utilized in DeFi. The first bounty is to build an application that uses XCM. This is an open-ended challenge, so it's up to you to decide where you want to take it. Stephen Shelton and I are excited to present a workshop on XCM on Tuesday, February 15th at the Art Hotel at 3.20 p.m. We'll cover everything you need to know to get up and running on this first bounty. The second bounty is focused on governance. As you may know, Moonbeam features native on-chain governance thanks to the Substrate Democracy Palette. The Moonbeam dev team built a Solidity interface. We call it the Democracy Precompile that allows you to integrate substrate native governance functionality into your Ethereum-based dApps. The beauty of this precompile is that you don't have to learn Rust or the substrate API. Instead, you can call these democracy functions directly from a Solidity interface. As an example, this means that users can interact and vote on proposals directly from MetaMask. The scope of this bounty is to build a dApp that uses the democracy precompile. A sample project idea is a straw poll dApp that collects user submitted ideas and records them on chain with a simple upvote downvote system. And then that dApp could then submit the most popular ideas in on chain proposals. Submissions will be judged on overall quality with an emphasis on the user experience. We will award a total of $7,500 split equally between the two bounties. That's $7,500 for the in-person hackathon and $7,500 for the virtual hackathon. Thank you so much.